During the last stage of his life, when Daniel returns to Sudan for the last time, he writes some of his most moving words, witness to his apostolic dedication, built on pure faith and an ardent love for Africa. His whole experience at this time is enlightened by a hope which becomes a certainty. He suffers and dies, but Africa will be saved. Writing to Cardinal Canossa on the 15th of March, 1881, on his 50th birthday, Daniel has this to say. Today I'm 50 years old. My God! One gets old very quickly and achieves nothing. It is true that I am here first with the most challenging and difficult vicariate in the world, and that it is making good progress and has reached a point, through God's grace, that eight years ago I would not have thought possible because of the enormous obstacles I had foreseen. It is true, too, that by God's help and through God's will, I have been able to make my contributions to the progress of this work. But after all, it is grace if I was able to avoid being a hindrance to this work, and I can only exclaim with the apostle, Servus inutilis sum. A week before his death, Daniel writes a report to the head of propaganda, Cardinal John Simeoni. While describing how the mission is being transformed into a cemetery by the deaths of his missionaries, Daniel is still able to see everything in the light of the cross, the sign of love and of redemption. My God, always crosses. But when Jesus gives us the cross, he loves us. All these crosses weigh terribly on my heart, but they also increase its strength and courage in fighting the Lord's battles, because God's works have always been founded in the blood of the God-man and of the apostles and martyrs. All the Catholic missions in the world which have borne fruit have developed in the image of the church, and thus they have made progress in the midst of death, of sacrifice, and in the shed of the saving tree of the cross. Daniel faces death quite alone, abandoned and falsely accused even by his friends, like Jesus on Calvary. But his last written words, written six days before his death, are lit up in the complete and beautiful blaze of the Paschal Mystery. I received today your registered letter of August 31st. I was surprised by the general tone of the letter and also scandalized. I don't know if the weight of the dear crosses that Jesus sends me is contributing to this feeling and judgment of mine. Let everything that God wishes come about. God never abandons the man who trusts in him. He is the protector of innocence and the vindicator of righteousness. I am happy in the cross which when born willingly out of love for God, gives birth to victory and eternal life.